Robinson, uh, linebacker coach at Baylor School in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, today we're going to talk about our defensive responsibilities and coverage in our 3-3 stack defense. Um, mainly what we want to do um, uh, with our 3-3 stack is, is everybody has a gap, all right? And then what we're going to do, we're going to give you uh, an ace formation out of a spread look. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to call our strength call away from the back. All right, so uh, backs over here, we're going to call a Sam left call. All right, and we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have a close. We're going to have a close call. So what we're going to do, we're going to slant to the strength. All right, and that'll tell our defensive line uh, where they're going. Now on the back end of this, we're going to play just a zone, a cover three, a three deep zone. All right, and what that tells our guys is, is the free safety. He's down in the middle of the field. All right. The corner, he has a deep third, and this corner has a deep third. Now the difference is in, in a lot of these spread offenses is what teams like to do is they like to, to run a lot of zone, a zone read concept. All right, and how we defend that is, is if we get any action over, over to the strong side, all right, our backers are gonna fill gaps, all right, fill gaps, all right. Now the biggest thing about this is how, is how we defend a quarterback. All right, now if we get the zone read here, all right, with this guy pinching, our wheel backer is responsible for the quarterback coming out on the back end right there, all right? So he's not gonna, this guy right here is not gonna play fast at all, all right? So he's just gonna get his read steps right here, all right? And he's gonna play off of this tackle, all right, with the quarterback, with the zone read and the quarterback keeping it on the back end. Now our coverage responsibilities in our three deep zone, all right? We have our Sam, Mike, and Will here. And what these two guys here, these are our buzzers. Really, they're, they're pretty much like strong safeties, all right? Now, on the tight end side, all right, what we do is we, we have this buzzer right here, just read the tight end. If the tight end gets a release, all right, we're going to the flat right now to help out our corner, okay? Now, on the, on the split side, on the two receiver side over here, what we want our buzzer to do on this side is he's going to be outside shoulder of the number two guy. And his responsibility is to not let this guy get a free release. All right, so what he's going to do on a vertical release is he's going to collision the number two guy. All right, and after he collisions, then he's going to work out to the flat. Okay, now our inside backer's responsibility in our three deep zone is they have to carry verticals. All right, so by this guy being so close to the, to the tackle and, and, and what we call in the box, our Sam Backer, if he gets a good pass read or gets high hats by the offensive lineman, he can cover down the seam right here, okay? And that's the same thing on the other side. Now, the difficult part about this defense is, is if this buzzer doesn't, if he does not get a jam on two, it makes it harder for our wheel backer to run down the seam with this guy, especially if we get any type of play action right here. So the biggest thing with this guy right here is he has to get a collision on the two guy, all right? So he gets a collision here. If he's going up the seam, now our Willie Backer can work underneath him, can work underneath him hip to hands. Now our free safety, his main job is just to stay in the middle of the field, stay in the middle of the field, read the quarterback size, so he can work both ways right here on the on the two inside guys, all right. And in our in our cover three, we can pretty much leave our Mike backer, all right, hanging over the middle, and he can play screen, he can play uh, quarterback draw, he can play anything in there. So he doesn't really have anything vertical wise in our in our three D, all right. So he's just pretty much a hang player um, for for what we like to call for any any crossing routes or anything like that. Now, if we get any type of option, uh, any type of option or anything like that, we're still, now we can also change up our defensive calls, okay? So now we can slant, well, we have an open call, all right? We can slant away from the strength, all right? So we can go here, here, and here. Now, what that does is it changes up our linebacker's responsibility, all right? Now we're gonna have, Mike Backer's gonna have front side A gap, now when we get the zone read, our Willie backer can play fast and field, all right? Now it changes our responsibility for our backside tackle. 
Now, instead of the Willie Backer having the, the quarterback on the zone read, now our tackle was slanting out, all right? Now, if he gets a zone uh, by the offensive lineman to the strength, now he's going to sit and squeeze, and he, can, he, he should be able to play the running back if he cuts back or the quarterback if he keeps, all right? And that's another situation that we do with our defensive line where we can slant, uh, we can slant strong or we can slant weak. All right, the coverage on the back end is still the same. And then we can also have blitzes out of this, what we call, where we want to send our Mike, our Sam, or our Will. A uh, play I'm going to show you right now is, is what we call a lightning call. Our lightning call is a, is a weak side blitz. So what we're going to do in a lightning call, our, our defensive line is going to slant strong. All right. Now, instead of our Willie Backer sitting back here, he's going to come here and he's blitzing off the edge. It's still the same with the zone read. All right, if he gets anything flowing away from him, he's going to sit and squeeze and be able to play uh, the inside zone by the running back and also the quarterback pull. Then as we get further on into this, all right, if we come from the other side, is what we call our thunder call. All right, and that's our strong side backer going into C gap. All, the, all these outside blitzes are pretty much C gap blitzes. All right, so what we would do here in our thunder call, our D line is slanting away. All right, now our Sam Backer is going to come and he's going to blitz the C gap right here. All right, now he pretty much because the running back is on the opposite side, he pretty much doesn't have a zone a zone read or anything like that. That still falls that still falls on our tackle because he's slanting out. Uh, because everything we do is gap responsibility. Uh, everybody has a gap, but what we teach our D line. Is when they slant, they got to stay flat down the line. Uh, they can't get upfield because when they get upfield, that creates the holes um, and that creates space for the running back to run. Now the difference is on this side, on our on our strong on our strength call side with our buzzard, if we have any blitz or anything, these buzzards are contained players. Nothing gets outside of them. All right, so any down block, any down block by a tight end, he's fit. He's fitting right there. So it, it's, it's a pretty easy defense to run, um, especially with all these guys, especially with the front guys and our two buzzer guys. Uh, the biggest thing is, is these three guys right here have to be tough guys. They, they got to be able to hit their gaps. They got to be able to two gap, all right, and they got to be able to run, all right, because they do have a lot of vertical coverage responsibilities in our three deep zone.